Hi students, welcome to Plain Scales. Welcome to Plain Scales. We are going to learn how to draw Plain Scales. We are taking a typical question. Construct a Plain Scale with R of 1 by 25. R of 1 by 25 to represent a maximum length of 4 meters. Construct a Plain Scale with R of 1 by 25 to represent a maximum length of 4 meters. So R of is equal to 1 by 25, maximum length is equal to 4 meters. Draw the scale and show 2.7 meters on it. Draw the scale and show 2.7 meters on it. That's the question. I repeat the question. Construct a plane scale with R of 1 by 25, long enough to measure 4 meters. Show 2.7 meters on it. That's the question. Okay. Now, R of is equal to 1 by 25, maximum length is equal to 4 meters. What is the length of scale? First thing is to find out length of scale. Length of scale is equal to R of into maximum length is equal to 1 by 25 into maximum length is 4 meters. 4 meters is 400 centimeters. So that you get maximum length of scale as 15 centimeters. Agreed? Length of scale is 15, 16 centimeters. 16 centimeters. So now we will draw the scale. What we do is what we do is construct a small rectangular strip like this. Whose length is 16 centimeters. This width, this width can be any width. I will always recommend to keep a width of about 1 centimeter. About 1 centimeter. Okay. Now, what does this represent? This represents 4 meters. Agree? I will divide it into 4 equal parts. I divide this into 4 equal parts. Now, what is plane scale? Plane scale is a scale which represents two units. One main unit on one side and, the, and its subdivision on the left side. Only two units are possible. One main unit on the main scale, main part of the scale on the right side and its subdivision on the left side. That is why we call it plane scale. Only two units. Okay. So this represents 4 meters. Agree? This represents 4 meters. I write 0, 1, 2, 3 here. What does each, block, each piece represent? 1 meter, isn't it? I divide the leftmost division into 10 equal parts. I divide the leftmost division into 10 equal parts. Here this is 16 centimeters. You can divide it into 4 equal parts without going for the procedure at 4 centimeters apart you can mark. And this is each division is 4 centimeters. You have to divide it into 10 equal parts. You can mark with your pencil 4 millimeters apart. So the procedure of dividing is not very necessary. You can go for it. It is not very necessary. Okay. Now, right here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now the construction is over. Construction of the scale is over. Now you have to mark certain things. What do you want to mark? You want to mark the unit here, R of here and the unit there. In the same level, preferably, draw very light lines in the same level. Then this, the lines can be 5 millimeters apart if you want to have the height of the letter as 5 millimeters so that the width can be 3 you can have any width 5 millimeters is more than sufficient and write the R of at the center what is R of? R of is 1 by 25 print the R of R F equals 1 divided by 25 now after writing this Erase the extended portions and draw a line just below that, a dark line. The line, the dark line which you draw at the bottom can be about 1 millimeter below. It will give you a beautiful appearance. Okay. On the left side, you have to write what? This is meters, this is decimeters. Decimeter, you have to print.
Then, as I promised, as I explained there, you have to draw a dark line with your scale, not freehand. With your scale. Then here meter. Agreed? All vertical lines have to be drawn with your scale. All horizontal lines have to be drawn with your scale. All in the line line also have to be drawn with your scale. No freehand usage. Only when you draw arcs, you can use freehand. Very carefully. Okay. Then draw a line just below this horizontal. This completes the drawing. Agree? Now you have to show 2.7 meters on it. This is 0, 1, 2. Draw a vertical line at 2. 2.1. If you measure from there, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, 2.5, 2.6, 2.7. Draw a vertical line here. Draw a horizontal line. Put arrow heads. Right? 2.7 meters. Now, how do you put arrow heads? Arrow heads are put like this. This is the correct method of marking arrow heads. What is the length of the arrow? Length of the arrow can be maximum 4 millimeters. What is the width of the arrow? This is the width. Width of the arrow can be maximum 2 millimeters. Length L equal to 4, width equal to 2. L by W must be between 2 and 3. That is the next requirement of an arrowhead. Length divided by width must be between 2 and 3. For safety, I give you length can be 4 mm, width can be 2 mm, so that L by W. 4 by 2 becomes 2. That is safe. And you can darken the arrow to make it good for appearance. Darken the arrow. The darkening will deposit some lead into that. So the darkening can be done at the completion of the drawing. In between the drawing, if you darken this arrow and if you move your set space etc. above this, no, what happens? It will spread. This lead will spread all over your, all over your Drawing. To avoid that, darken it only at the end, at the time of submission. I hope you understand. The length of the scale also you can print. Length of the scale is 16 centimeters. That also, if you want, you can print at the bottom. In the length of scale equals 160 mm. That also can be printed like this. So, this completes the first. Diagonals, I mean, uh, plane scale. Agree? Okay? Now, while drawing this, you can make it, the, you can improve the appearance by darkening in certain books. You can see this is darkened like this. Like this. That is not very necessary. That is not very necessary. You are wasting your time from exam point of view. So draw it like this, that is more than certain. Okay, so this is the first problem. Now, I have one more problem. This question is, the arc is 1 by 8. Arc is 1 by 8. Maximum length is 5 feet. Maximum length is 5 feet. You are asked to show some distance. I correct the question here itself. Arc is equal to 1 by 8. Maximum length is 5 feet. Show 2 feet 11 inches on it. One line represents feet, two lines represents inches. Length of scale equals R of into maximum length equals 1 by 8 into 5 feet. 5 feet is 60 inches, isn't it? 12 inches makes 1 foot. So 5 feet means 16. So how much do you get? 7.5 inches. 7.5 inches. Now, on your scale, on one side you have got centimeters. 1, 2, 3, up to 30 centimeters. And on the other side you have got what? Inches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 inches. Agree? One side centimeters and one side inches. Draw seven and a half inches with your scale. Seven and a half inches will uh, look like this. 
make a rectangular slit whose width can be preferably 1 cm. Okay, what does it represent? It represents 5 feet. Represents 5 feet. You will divide this into 5 equal parts. Check the maximum length. That is the number of division which you choose. 5 feet, so 5 equal parts. What do you write? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Agreed? Then, divide this into how many equal parts? Leftmost division into how many equal parts? Each represent 1 foot. 12 inches make 1 foot. So you divide this into 12 equal parts. Agreed? How will you make the division? The division is made. Following the procedure, you may have to follow the procedure of dividing it. I am not doing it here, you may have to do it. Agreed? Now, write the unit here inches. I N C H E S. Inches. R of equals 1 by 8. Right side, feet. I have marked the units. Now you have to mark the dimension. 2 feet 11 inches. 1, 2. 2 feet 1 inch, 2 feet 2 inch, 2 feet 3 inch, 4 inch, 5 inch, 6 inch, 7 inch, 8 inch, 9 inch, 10 inch, 11 inch. Vertical line. Connect them by the dimensioning line. Put arrow heads. Close the arrows. 2 feet 11 inches. You can mark the symbol. 2 feet 11 inches. And at the bottom you can write length. of scale equals how much 7.5 inches this is a typical plane scale with a different set of units that's what I, I try to represent so with this I complete the plane scales there are numerous problems worked out in various textbooks very simple you will not get a different complicated question from playing skills. I hope you understand. Okay. Thank you.